This is how money from the black community is stolen because our community, because of broken windows, police, uh, policing ideology, we are targeted the most. And because of civil asset forfeiture, we lose millions of our wealth every year. Millions of our, of our wealth. This is not something that impacts the upper class. So the principle applies domestically as well. You have a foreign policy that is allowing us to be sanctioned. And you have domestic policy of giant police budgets, giant corporate bailouts. At the same time, increasing military budgets while allowing the prices of goods to go up while wages continue to fall. That's a sanction on the working class. And if you're on the left and you support this, you are, no, well, let me rephrase this. You are not on the left if you support this. And if you are really elected, these people who do support this, they are our enemies. They are not our closest friends. People will say, why are you criticizing Ron Connor? Why are you criticizing AOC? These people are our closest friends. No, I swear to God, if you're if you're for giant military budgets, if you're for giant police budgets, if you're for the sanctions on the working class, which mostly affects my people, let's be fucking real. Because there's a, re there's a reason why white progressives are okay with this. Because, because I explained before, broken windows policing makes it so indigenous, black, and Latino people are hit by the regressive fines and fees of our state the most. Everyone is effect affected by this. But it is a straight up fact that 60% of, of the people who are affected by civil asset forfeiture are black. <laughs> Do you guys understand this? This is why RBN, Revolutionary Blackout, is the only place, and I watch a lot of media, especially since I got into space, we are the only people who cover this issue like this because we are black and fucking brown. 